Thanks a lot. I think that's a... He's the latest big sensation. He's easing through boxing's prestigious division, and his name is Pele. 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 He may be frightening in the ring, but unlike his namesake, he's frightful on the football pitch. Every time somebody asks me, Pele, can you play football? No, I can't play football. But he can kick box. <laughs> Pele Reed is an expert in martial arts. An array of trophies at home, Pelé won everything in kickboxing. In martial arts, he went to the top. He was a um, world champion, um, two times European champion, five times British champion. From his early teens, he made the headlines in the world of the black belt. Having won every major title, it was time to move into the more glamorous world of the boxer. There were obvious problems at the start. Boxing judges don't give marks for the splits. There was the major switch from kicking to punching, and the fact that Pele entered the ring with no amateur experience. When I went there and burned in the gym, I had to start from scratch. I was a beginner. You know I, mean? I didn't go in there with the mentality of a world champion. I went in there with the mentality of a beginner, and that's the way I look at it. I've learned from scratch. Pele is one of the most dedicated boxers in the sport. Training with former kickboxing star John Thaxon is helping him through the switch, and he's fitted straight into the growing Brendan Ingle camp. Fun filled out of the ring, and inside against prisoners, or real fighters, but will he be silly enough to kick out? I've never been in a position where I've been, I've been it and I've lost consciousness and uh, I don't know what's going on. That might happen, you know, it might happen and I could start throwing kicks, you know what I mean, but that's never happened to me yet. He hasn't needed them. Five fights, five first round wins, aiming for the top with his hands. If I win a, a world title boxing, definitely I'll, I'll cherish that as much as I do. I keep boxing. A little bit more in this fight. I know he seems to have been in a bit of trouble there, Carranza, from something that happened during the break. There's, a, I think, a rabbit punch by Reed, who does get through with a big right hand there and has Carranza in reverse gear. He's got through and he's floored him. And I think that might be the end of it. He got to round two, but not very far into round two, Carranza. And I don't think we're going to see anything more here. It's going to be six out of six for Pelle Reed. He shows no signs of getting up at all. Got through with a series of headshots and Carranza well they didn't really need to count he was never ever going to get up and looks in a bad way there he does he got caught with a, a few good punches just a big flurry from Reed he obviously made up his mind he was gonna throw a lot more in the second round get to him and he's down and he looks it looks, under, looks pretty bad down there well these are uh, not the kind of scenes one likes to see that's Jonathan Thaxton in the corner there, the uh, rising prospect in the Brendan Ingle camp. Pele Reed looking a bit anxious himself, as we all are, over the condition of the Argentine Eduardo Carranza. Well, he's beginning to come around. He was literally knocked unconscious. And there was certainly no need at all, I think, for the referee. Uh, he's opened his eyes now but he was not spark out he was again we see the power that reed possesses and i think with power like that you can go a long way in the heavyweight division but what we're concerned about at the moment is not the quality of Pele reed's punching we're concerned about the condition of eduardo carranza let's caught him with that short right an explosive start Reed was holding and hitting the ref. He was about to, to give him a little warning, but he said, "Leave him alone. This is good action. Leave it alone." Yes. Good counter there. Fletcher coming in, and Reed caught him flush on the chin. And is he going to get he up? Seems to have a problem with his eye. I think he's blinking the eye. I don't know if it's with pain or if it's a problem with the eye. It's difficult to see. But uh, bringing Brendan Ingle. Are you happy with the progress this young man's making? Oh, marvelous. I mean, Keith Fletcher's been in with everybody's his beads. Uh, the former European ch heavyweight champion, you know, and he's had about six knockouts. That's his fourth fight, all in the first round. You know, I taught myself. He's been practicing a right uppercut, and just he leaned in. He turned the he turned the fist up, and he caught him with this way coming up and caught him on the eye. You know, but he gave him a good shot. He didn't know what happened. I think uh, looking for a rematch. I think he wants to go home and have a look at the video again and see where he's went wrong. But he's he's going to finish up world champion the next three or four years. No doubt about it at all. Just got to settle down, get a few rounds under his belt, 
and he's going to be the man. Frank Warren, you know, promoting him, has done a great job, and us training him, and he's dedicated, he's a smashing lad, so it makes it worthwhile. He's there every day training. Pleasure. Nelson just skips back out of range, and he's, he can instantly get back into